Hey, it's Rod V. Thanks for watching. Well, if you watched my last video, I made my own guitar body template, my own design, and I've cut it out. Been wanting to do this for a while. Um, now, it is a small body. It's kind of thin, but that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do today is epoxy resin art on the front. Now, I haven't routed this down to the actual size. It's still a little bit bigger than my pattern because when I do the resin, it's going to run down the sides, make a big old mess, and when it dries, I'll put the template back on it. Then I'll route it out and clean it up real nice. And what I'm going to try to do is something like this. This is something I did about three, four months ago because I've been wanting to do this to a guitar for quite a while, and this was my test piece. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Let me change the camera angle, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the top of this black because I want my background black when I put the epoxy resin on it. Okay, I've got it painted. It still needs to dry probably by another five or 10 minutes. But in the meantime, um, I wanna mix up my epoxy and I'm just using regular clear tabletop epoxy. And I'd get you some of these um, paint mixer cups because this stuff is mixed in one to one. I'm going to mix up 10 ounces and I'm going to spread that 10 ounces throughout my colors. So uh, I'm going to mix up 10 ounces. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll come back and we'll put some epoxy on it. Okay, I've got my epoxy mixed up and I put an ounce in these three cups right here. And what I'm using is um, a violet blue and gold and I might add some white in because I'm going to have some of this extra so I'm going to go ahead and mix these up they want to make sure that this with your your um, platform is flat because you don't want it leaning left or right because then you'll have it'll start running either way and a squeegee if you got one so I'm gonna go ahead and take my resin and dump it on okay now if you think I'm gonna start off with some blue and I'm just gonna take my Grab your heat gun, turn it on. You don't want it really hot. I want the fan on all the way. I'm going to mix up a little bit of pearl white and put in it. I think I'm going to do just a drop with some candy apple red. Love it, but after you do all that, you can run over it with your heat gun and it will pop the bubbles that are in it. You can also take a torch and do the same thing. But be careful that you don't burn your epoxy. Let the bubbles raise up and then go over it. Okay there it is. Now I had some bubble problems right here in the center. I may have overheated it. Um, I poured a little bit of epoxy on it. I got a cool little pattern going on right here. So I'm going to let it dry overnight 
and then I'll come back and I'll sand it because I got uh, some bubbles here and it dried so fast I couldn't get them out so I'll sand all that down and get it smooth and if I need to I'll make up a little bit of epoxy and put it in any divots or holes uh, made from the uh, bubbles um, other than that that's it so let me let this dry overnight do what I'm gonna do and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like well it's been a couple days and I've got it done there it is I think that looks awesome I went ahead and routed in my pickup pocket and I routed in my control pocket now I stained the back of it with a deep violet leather stain I did about three coats of that on it and then I went over that with some teak oil about three coats and let it dry real good and then I polished it with a wood wax about three times polished it up real good so looks pretty good I like it I don't know if that's uh, in focus or not but there you go um, so I gotta wait for the rest of my parts to come in and I'll put this together so if you want to see what it looks like put together and play uh, hit that like subscribe button come on back and I appreciate you watching